Hey everyone, welcome to my knitting podcast. My name is Sabrina, I'm the girl behind Dubri Studio, and I live in Budapest, Hungary uh, for the past four and a half, almost five years. Uh, I'm originally from America, and yeah, I'm living here now with my boyfriend and my dog. I am a knitter, a ceramic artist, and I guess just an all-around creative person, or like, I still like to think that. And yeah, I just wanted to show you what I've been knitting for the past few months. Uh, the last time that I did a knitting podcast, I think I uploaded it in November or December, but uh, this is everything I've made since then. So definitely don't get too discouraged because this has been uh, what I've been working on for literally the past five months now, I think. So yeah, I wanted to get into showing you that. And I just want to say a few more things about like my knitting journey. Um, I've been knitting since August, so I think that's around eight months now. And yeah, I'm super excited to show you like kind of what I've been working on. So I'm going to kind of go in chronological order if I can remember. Uh, and oh, I want to start with the sweater that I'm wearing now because I also made it. You might have seen it in my previous knitting podcast. Uh, this is the Louisiana sweater by Petit Knit and it's knit up in DHG Yarns Puma, which is 100% merino wool and it's in the color fairy tale, which I love because it's just like this beautiful pink variegated yarn and I did like the neck and the sleeves in raspberry. So yeah, this is my probably my most worn favorite knitted sweater I've ever made. Um, it's just like the thing that I put on when like I just need something comfy to wear. It's literally like the comfiest, nicest sweater ever. So let's move on to this red sweater. Uh, this one I started making in November, the end of November I think. Um, kind of for Christmas as you can see by the color. It's a seamless mock neck sweater by Well Loved Knits. And it's in Drops Andes in Christmas Red, which is a discontinued color, but I definitely chose the color because um, it was Christmas time, so I was feeling a little bit inspired by that, I guess. Um, I would say I haven't gotten as much wear out of the sweater as I would have liked. Obviously, if you spend so much time making <laughs> like a knitted garment, you would hope that you would get a lot of wear out of it, and this one I just... I don't really go for it and I think there's two reasons. I think one of the reasons is maybe the color. I don't really think like I'm a red person, which like I don't hate red, like I like it. It just I guess it depends on the outfit. But the second and maybe the more important reason I don't wear it is it's not like that comfortable I guess. The yarn is like a little bit scratchy or on the rough side and I think as well like just a fit for me it's a bit too oversized and boxy and another reason is that like so I did this um, crocheted neckline on the inside uh, because yeah this was kind of like recommended but the pattern it will help keep the neckline like in shape a bit and I find that this like crochet just with this kind of yarn maybe it's just really like cutting into my neck which is not really like a nice feeling and the the wool is very warm so I didn't I don't really like to wear like a turtleneck under it because already like to have a turtleneck layered and then a knitted sweater like it's really hot and like I'm never in a situation when I want to be that hot so for me yeah unfortunately the sweater is just not one that I really picked up and something maybe also which was a little bit disappointing is that I bought the pattern when it was released and after the Wild Love Nyx she made like an edit to the pattern which kind of uh, made a modification to the neck size because it's quite like kind of like goes out a bit the neck so she made a modification to the pattern but I was already completely finished with the body when like this update came so that was like a little bit disappointing and at the time I wanted to have it ready for Christmas so I didn't want to frog it back so unfortunately yeah this just isn't one that I really go for but I definitely think every Christmas I will be wearing it because it's my Christmas red sweater. So anyways let's move on to the next one which is also kind of a little bit of a disappointment. 
But anyways, uh, nonetheless, it's actually another uh, Louisiana sweater by Petite Knit, just like the one that I'm wearing, but actually I made this one for my boyfriend. And the funny thing is, it does not fit him. As you can see, it's like pretty small. Um, I knit this one, this green one, in a large, and this one that I'm wearing, I knit in a small. And they're in the same yarn. This one is also DHG Puma in the color Ivy. Um, I don't know what happened between when I knit this sweater and when I knit this one for my boyfriend, but maybe my gauge was off because it's definitely like a lot smaller than I was anticipating. So I ended up keeping it for myself, but honestly like green is not really like a color which I would tend to wear. So yeah, it's kind of just another one of those ones which is sitting around in my closet. And also I'm a little bit disappointed in it because it's there's like a spot, I don't know if you can see it, but I notice it every time I pick it up where the yarn was like like I had a cone of yarn, so I wasn't supposed to like have to join them that much. And there, it was having a knot in the yarn, like they joined two together, which is really disappointing because obviously if you buy a whole cone, you expect it to be like one piece. And I got this little surprise there when I was knitting. And I don't know why I didn't try to like take it back a little bit and put it the join in the shoulder, but I ended up just leaving it there and it's really... I really hate that part of it. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal because I don't really wear green anyways. And I tried on this sweater for the first time, twisted rib, which is really neat, but I don't know if I like how neat it looks, like if that makes sense. It's almost too neat. But anyways, that's I guess my opinion on that. I'm just checking which sweater is next because I kind of have it on my Instagram like chronologically I was posting them because as I was making them so I kind of have like a little cheat sheet I think this one is next and this might also be one of my favorite sweaters that I've made this was done with a free pattern from Drops uh, Design and this is the Moroccan Market Muse sweater and yeah, I love how it turned out. I used a smaller needle size than the pattern suggested. I think it suggested 8mm and I think I used 6mm in the end because I wasn't happy with like the swatch that I made. But also I didn't take into account like obviously if you use a smaller needle size like it's gonna be smaller, the garment. Which was fine in the body but like when I cast it off for the neck it's like pretty tight. So like I can still get it on my head but like I need to take off my glasses and like put my hair down if it's up to like get it on my head. But it's fine because it's so cute. Um, this was knit in the Drops Melody and I knit it in all the same colors which was listed in the pattern except instead of grey for the base I used white. And I really like how this turned out. I'm kind of wishing I used like different yarn colors because I don't really like the dark and the blue in it. I wish I would have just stuck with like pinky warm tones but maybe I will like make another one because I really do love that sweater a lot and I I think I wear it a lot. It's maybe like the second most worn one after this pink one. Uh, let's do the next one and this is also one that I'm really proud of. This one was actually a test knit but I did for Hearis Makes on Instagram and this is her sweet shop uh, sweater pattern and it's kind of hard to see because it's in black but hopefully in the close-ups you'll kind of get to see a bit more but it's in um what is it called um i'm honestly blanking on the stitch that it was done in it's like bro broken rib broken rib it's done in broken rib which I never did before but I love the texture and I definitely think I would knit this one up again in like a different color. Um, this one I made in DHG Puma again because I guess I like that yarn. It's done in the color dark and yeah I don't know I love this Puma yarn because it's so soft like I haven't uh, I haven't used that many yarns to be honest but for instance if I compare it with VR Knitters um, what is the name of the 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 petite wool the we are knitters petite wool it's also 100% merino wool 
but like for me the yarn is like very rough uh, this yarn is just so buttery and soft and obviously like there are some downsides to that um, there is like quite a lot of pilling on this sweater but like if I think about it my uh, cardigan, my Aosta cardigan, what I did in the petite wool, it's also pilling a lot so like I don't really feel like that's something which you can like say as a you know like a disadvantage of the yarn like I don't know I really love it like it's so soft it's not itchy at all it's just like wearing a cloud and it's so warm but as I was mentioning like sometimes it can be a little bit too warm for me but uh, like definitely this uh, sweet shop sweater it's very warm especially with the turtleneck and it's just like super soft and nice like wearing a blanket and I really love it uh, this pattern was my first test knit that I've ever done and I would actually like to make a video and talk a little bit more about like my experience test knitting and just like how I found it because there was like a big uh, drama on Instagram recently about test knitters and about you know how they're not paid or how they're like expected so many things and not a lot is given back to them so I feel like that's something like maybe I would want to touch on in one of my videos. I don't know if you guys would be interested in hearing me rant about that or not, but uh, let me know if you would be. But yeah, anyways, super happy with this sweater. Moving on to the next one, as I hopefully my huge pile of knits here doesn't collapse. Uh, I think it was this one, which was also a test knit, which I did at the same time. I still haven't woven in my ends, so that shows you just how much I've worn this one. Uh, this one is the Gramercy Gingham Top by NYC Knits on Instagram, and yarn again, DHD Puma, in September and Twilight. Uh, I think the yarn f in the original pattern she used the wool or uh, that wool by wool in the gang as well. What is it called? I don't know, I haven't used it, but you know what I'm talking about probably because it's so popular. Anyways, this was like inertia. inertia. I don't know how to say that word. I don't know. I just forget that I tried to say that. But anyways, I floated the yarn on the inside to make the little squares, which is cool. Yeah, like, I don't know, I like this pattern, but at the same time, I don't know, I feel like like a wool tank top is probably something I'm not gonna like pull out of my closet ever to wear. And maybe it was also my yarn, like I, I met gauge and stuff, but it's like a bit tight. I didn't block it yet, but obviously it's just one box. And for me, like my, my chest is bigger than like this part of my body, my, my like ribs. Or I don't know like what to call it my stomach and stuff so like my chest is bigger so like this kind of top it doesn't have any like shaping or anything it's just like straight so it's like tight in the wrong places for me kind of so that's also why I haven't worn it and uh, somehow the straps are not on straight so that's another re I don't know if you can tell but that's another reason I haven't really picked it up I think I might mm, take out this yarn and use it for something else because uh, I will talk about it a bit later in the end of the video, but I'm just kind of into like not wasting right now. I don't want to waste yarns. I, I feel like guilty for having it like sit in my closet and not use it. So I'm going to try to think of something, what I can do with this yarn so that it's not just, you know, sitting around being useless. Uh, anyways, next project was or is a pair of socks. Yeah, it was my first pair of knitted socks and honestly I found it like super fun to make socks, like so fun to make something different other than a sweater because obviously as you can see I've made a lot of sweaters and that's like a bit uh, boring to just make the same thing over and over again. Making socks I kind of got to, you know, learn some different techniques and stuff and it was a lot more simpler than I imagined that it was going to be. Uh, this pattern is the Sunday Socks by Petite Knit. I used the yarn which was recommended, or one of the recommended yarns, which was uh, Sanna's Garn Perfect. And it was in the color beige modeled or modeled beige uh, 
it's it's gray I don't know why every time I get beige it's gray I think I'm starting to realize that when they say beige they really mean gray but that's fine I think they're super cute anyway um, I definitely want to try to make like a thinner pair of socks because these were done on four millimeter needles so they're quite chunky uh, and they're kind of more like slippers than socks I would say like I wouldn't wear them with shoes because they're so like textured and my feet are just kind of like like they would be weird if I tried to wear shoes with them but anyways I love those really excited to make another pair of socks hopefully in the future and the next project is I, I keep saying this like either it's my favorite uh, thing that I've knit or like I hate it like every time like it's only those two categories and nothing in between but uh, this one is one of the favorites that I've made this is the Luca cardigan by the Knit Pearl Girl basically it's the same as the Aosta pa uh, cardigan it's done in the Anna Louisian stitch which is basically just uh, three rows of normal knitting and then on the fourth row you would knit one pearl one and you get these like this pattern which is super nice I love textured knits uh, this is done in We Are Knitters the cotton or the Pima cotton I don't know how do they exactly call it it's in the color Canyon Rose I bought this before the whole We Are Knitters Zara collaboration um, probably you guys have heard about that too but I definitely won't be supporting um, we are knitters anymore because I just feel like that was so like I, I have no idea what they were thinking when they did that it's just not really cool from like a sustainable brand that's just my opinion I don't shop at Zara or H&M or any of those places anymore so it would be stupid to kind of support like a sustainable sustainable brand who supports those kind of brands but anyways uh, that being said regardless of that I really really love this sweater I really love the cotton like this was the first time working with cotton as well the first time making a cardigan as well and yeah I have to say I really like it um yeah like on it like it's amazing to work with cotton I think for a change because as I was saying like I found a lot of my other knits like very heavy and very warm which is can be a good thing but also like I I guess I tend to get like hotter than the average person I guess or I don't know so like I would prefer to wear something like this cotton cardigan and it's easier to layer it and being a cardigan it's easier to take on and off rather than like a turtleneck sweater which is a little bit harder to like remove throughout the day but yeah I'm really in love and I bought the buttons at a local yarn shop and I would definitely like to make this uh, Luca cardigan again but obviously as I'm not uh, gonna be supporting VR knitters anymore I need to find like a yarn alternative to their cotton so if you have any recommendations for that I'd be open to hearing it and that was all the projects that I finished in the past five months I know it kind of seemed like a lot but it's like a sweater a month which is still like quite quick I know but I feel like I'm a fast knitter like whenever I have the chance I'm always knitting in the car on the couch watching Netflix um, I actually also organize a knitting club here in Budapest I don't know if any of you who actually watch this are living in Budapest but if you are like you should totally come join us because I'm hosting the knitting club once a week on every Tuesday in the 13th district of Budapest we meet in this expat bar and we just like have a cozy little knitting session which is honestly absolutely amazing I would totally recommend it if like you don't have any knitting friends in your area and you want to make some like you should look for a knitting club or try to host one of your own because it's been so fun to like have it be like a social gathering like a social thing because I guess knitting is normally quite like um, not a lonely thing but like you wouldn't normally think like people knit at home and like it's relaxing but it's also really fun to like change it up and like talk to people have a margarita that's my favorite thing to get there a strawberry margarita and just like yeah see what other people are working on and like I don't know it's just so fun and we also welcome crocheters in our group so it's fun to see like what they are doing because I also want to really learn crochet as well so yeah um 
I want to show you now my work in progress. I have two of them right now. Actually one is like pretty much finished but I'll just show you because I think it's easier to explain if I show you. So this is a pair of knitted shorts. This is the pattern Demia's Rib Shorts by Demia Knitwear I think on Instagram. And it's done in uh, from Lang Yarns, not, is it from Lang? No, is it? Honestly, I have to check it now because I don't remember. I think it's from Lang Yarns. Anyway, the, the name of the type of yarn is Norma. So I think it's Norma from Lang Yarns. I don't know. I'll, I'll write everything on the screen or something down below. Anyways, it was the recommended yarn in the pattern and honestly oof you guys this pattern really gave me a hard time and uh, like it's funny because I bought this yarn and because uh, I really wanted to make this pattern ever since I started knitting last year I bought this yarn in like September and I was like oh, I was so ready to make these shorts but I'm so glad that I waited until now to make them because it was so difficult and like I consider myself like a more experienced knitter like I feel like I can knit anything as long as there's like a pattern and like a tutorial like I can do it but with this one I frogged it so many times especially in the beginning they were humongous and I like I met Gage and or like I met it I was off by like one so I went down a needle size or no, I went down more than one needle size in the end but they were humongous when I started them and like they have an elastic waistband which is like helping to pull it in but I feel like there's still going to be like a lot of excess fabric. Um, so I'm at the point where I like sewed the waistband down pretty much and now I just need to sew the elastic together and finish sewing them shut. Uh, I'm just waiting to because I also go to a sewing class or workshop and I'm gonna sew it down there but I don't know when I'm gonna be there the next time so I'm just waiting to have a sewing machine to finish them and I need to block them still which I'm a little bit worried about because this yarn does bloom a lot when they are blocked and they are already like right now I would say they fit like a l just a little bit on the big side but like they're they're comfortable they're nice but I'm like really worried when I block it they're gonna be huge which was what I was worried about in the beginning when I started to make them and I frogged them back so many times and I like reached out to the designer and she said basically that yeah they are it's fine they're supposed to look like that and like it's better if they are big but I was like but they're really big and she's like well you cannot say that because you're not done yet and like basically like this so I just decided to do it because you know I wanted to make them so I'm just gonna see how they are in the worst case I will just Take it back and I guess do it all over again. Maybe like I I I I started and stopped it and frogged it back in so many places that honestly like I think if I made it again I would be able to like make them quicker because I have so many notes on how I changed it and stuff. Um, the original pattern it had like a slanted cast off for the legs, but I could not for the life of me figure out how to do that nor did I have the energy to like continue to mess around with it because I just like wanted to have them finished. I think if you buy a pattern obviously I pay somebody money for the pattern because I don't want to have to continuously frog back my work and design it myself but I feel like I kind of did a little bit of that with this one because it's just like the pattern is not well written. It's not detailed enough I think and yeah I think there's some improvements that could be done on the pattern and re from reading the reviews I see that now as well but like I said <laughs> I bought the yarn in September when I was a complete newbie and I had no idea what I was doing and I just really wanted to make them so I was a little bit naive maybe then but I have shorts I'm gonna keep you updated how they look when it's done and hope for the best We'll see what happens. And my second uh, work in progress after that long rant. Uh, something a little bit better because I was like, okay, I need to work on now something which I know will end up good. Uh, this is a pattern by... Pattern. This is a pattern by Petite Knit. Uh, it's the April cardigan. 
and this is I had to frog it back let me explain but the yarn is camel in uh, Sunday by Sanes Garn and uh, it's held with burnt sugar color um, tin silk mohair also from Sanes Garn and originally I bought this yarn to make another petite knit sweater pattern uh, that was the caramel sweater but it was a turtleneck and I realized like first of all I think I'm a little bit sensitive to mohair and there is mohair in this uh, in this yarn and secondly I'm just like as I've realized I have so many sweaters I don't really like turtleneck sweaters like I like how they look but I don't think they're very comfortable for me to wear especially like with something in an itchy fiber that close to my skin I was like no so I ended up doing like I was almost finished with the yoke on the caramel sweater and I ended up taking it out and starting the April cardigan instead um, obviously as I said I'm like a little bit sensitive to mohair but I think that because it's a cardigan it's not gonna be as bad because it's not like you know it's not a turtleneck it's not like suffocating me with its itchiness and I wanted to use the yarn for something so this is the best thing for that and I'm super excited as well because I have it here. Um, I found this cardigan and it has like super pretty buttons. Uh, thrifted it. And I'm going to use the buttons from this cardigan for my uh, my cardigan. So that's going to be fun to have like cute handmade buttons. I feel like it's so hard to find cute buttons. I don't know if you guys know a place in Europe that sells cute buttons or in the US because when I go home maybe I can purchase from there but like I haven't found any place that I like that has cute buttons so would totally be open for recommendations on that and that's like pretty much all I had to show you guys for today to be honest um, I don't have any acquisitions because uh, as I kind of hinted to earlier in the video I'm trying to be more sustainable and I think that also means not buying yarn in bulk and excess um, only buying yarn but I know I'm gonna use which I have time to work on I don't want yarn piling up because that stresses me out because I'm like I feel like I need to do something with it and I need to work quicker I need to use it and it's just like not a good feeling for me and I think that you know I'm also trying to save money lately and I think just purchasing stuff in advance just to have it it's not good because then you change your mind on the project you want to work on or the color or anything and then you're kind of stuck with yarn so I've been trying to be more mindful about that and I'm really happy to say I have not purchased any yarn in the past uh, I think the last time I purchased was in like January I did purchase a few like skeins of yarn for a workshop that I was doing but I didn't keep the yarn so it doesn't count actually I have one more work in progress but I wouldn't I forgot about it because I'm not really like working on it uh, because I have the yarn I cast it on the ribbing for it that's all I did and then I started to work on the other cardigan because I'm more interested in that but this is the patch me if you can vest by Jamie I think Jamie creates on Instagram um, again this is a pattern that I bought in November bought the yarn also a few months ago I'm not really like that keen to do this top right now especially I don't really like the colors that I chose I chose this brown and white um, but it's fine like I want to make it anyway the only problem with it is that um, the vest is done flat and it's seamed together and I hate doing that I hate it like I did not think about that when I bought the pattern I just really liked it so I bought it and yeah, so I'm trying to hack it to work it in the round. I think that won't be a problem. I mean, like, it's quite a simple pattern, I feel like, and it's like a vest, so, like, how hard could it be to work it in the round, right? Anyways, so, like, that's the project I'm gonna do after the cardigan, I think. And I do have, like, a list of projects, what I want to work on, but I really want to, like, finish at least the cardigan, and then I'm gonna, like start to purchase yarn for the next thing what I want to make I want to make uh, my favorite things knitwear camisole 4 I think 4 is the one with the high neck I think I want to make that one I want to use uh, knitting for olive and that's like basically my next thing so I'm really trying to like plan out my next projects you know really think about the colors that I want to make them in think about like am I is this something I'm gonna wear is the pattern like well written is there good reviews like 
Sorry guys, my camera ran out of space. Um, anyway, so like I was saying, I'm really trying to think uh, very smartly about what I make, uh, how am I going to wear it, am I going to like it, is this for the long term? And that's what's been really important to me recently. So that's why there is no uh, acquisitions and I'm really trying to think about those kind of things lately. Um, another thing what I want to mention, I really want to make uh, a sweater from all my yarn scraps. I really like those like sweaters where with like wool and mohair knit on like chunky needles and the mohair is just kind of like uh, see-through or mesh. I think I'm gonna try to make something like that. I've never made uh, something from my own pattern, or actually that's not true, I did once, but didn't really turn out that great. Um, but anyways, I really wanna like make stuff from my own patterns. So that's something that I kinda wanna work towards and we'll see if it happens or not, but I think definitely like a scrappy sweater should be doable. So we'll see, hopefully I can update you guys with that in the next uh, knitting podcast. But for now, that was everything from me. Uh, sending you guys kisses from Budapest and hope you guys have a good rest of your day and have fun with your knitting projects, guys. And if you're in Budapest, come uh, hang out with us at Knitting Club. Uh, feel free to drop a message for all the details. And yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.